The concept of this game is not new. The plunger, the ball, the flappers, and the ever ominous hole that the sloped game field ultimately draws the ball into. But one Vermont company has a fresh new take on it. Unlike anything else around. When I first was working on a pin box, it was just, I was just addicted. You know, I couldn't get it out of my mind. The Cardboard Tech Institute presents the Pin Box 3000. It's a cardboard tabletop pinball set with interchangeable game boards that you can customize. So it's kind of an expansion system. There's a lot of freedom. You know, there isn't one way to, uh, to get the correct answer for fun. The raw material is free and the engine is proven. It uses some pretty solid concepts like gravity. Components are cut out of cardboard sheets, folded into shape and latched together. The launcher uses a rubber band powered plunger to shoot the marbles into play. Then just tap the rubber band loaded cardboard buttons to operate the flippers. As for making these creations... It was love at first laser. Laser! The cardboard technicians work at Burlington's generator maker space. Ready to press go? They have the benefit of certain tools that help make their job infinitely easier. The laser cutter adds a degree of precision and speed that helps them produce enough units to keep up with demand. Pops it right out. The first part they wanted to master was the chassis. Then they plan to add more game tops, which people can order or experiment with on their own. And this isn't just a one person game. Take two games back to back. You can link them up right here. They call it Battle Mode. Marbles fly through an opening connecting to pin boxes. It's good fun and is not electronic. Oh, nice. The National Maker Fair. Parents and kids would come up to our table together, and the kids would look at this and say, what is it? And the parents would say, this is pinball. Let me show you how it works. And it's all very pre-video game. They say schools can incorporate pin boxes into lessons, teaching engineering and physics, even mix in other topics. You know, the War of 1812 pinball game. While the makers say the game has an addictively fun quality. Oh, yeah. Some of the best parts, they say, are the endless possibilities. The pin box is just such an open world that, you know, anybody can come to it and there's no, there's no wrong answer. With What's Next, David Schneider, WPTZ News Channel 5. Oh. Good game. <laughs>